Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. One of the first things I do when I set up a phone for the first time is uh, installing Join App. Mostly because I absolutely adore the ability to share the clipboard between devices. I can set the clipboard from my, on my computer and have it available almost instantly on my mobile phone or other devices. Now recently I've been setting a new phone and I've been linking only Not Enough Tech account in there uh, so I purchased another Join App license for Not Enough Tech. Up until now I've been using Google Family Library to share the Join license between my private account and the Not Enough Tech account so I didn't even have an opportunity to try the shared devices. Now, setting up a new phone meant a new start, so I decided to get another join license to myself and assign it to a Not Enough Tech account. I figured I'll give it a go with the shared devices and see what options are possible. While you can still push messages or share uh, tabs in uh, Google Chrome between devices on different accounts, automatic clipboard sharing isn't unfortunately available if you have two different accounts. So I thought I'm going to fix this with Tasker and that was slightly more difficult than I uh, initially anticipated. So you would be tempted just to create a very simple profile that responds to changes in a clipboard variable and pushing that change to another device. But if that's a push it gets delayed for a couple of seconds, chances are you're going to create a feedback loop sending the same clipboard from one device to another because the same profile would have to be installed on both accounts. Now to fix that I actually use Tasker. So let's uh, jump into the Tasker and I'll show you what to do to avoid that feedback loop. To avoid problems with loops, there are two different Tasker profiles. First, there is one responsible for sharing your clipboard. To detect changes in a clipboard, simply just use clip variable in an event uh, variable set. Now that's going to obviously trigger join send push, and instead of sending the actual clipboard, I'm going to send the text. If you're going to send the text only, this acts as a join command. So in my text I'm going to have a command type, which is in this case clip, and then variable which I'm sending the content of the clipboard that's been actually set. So after okaying this, I, want, uh, I also want to use a join command to enter prefix join text push to which I'm going to respond. Now because this has to be installed on every single phone um, that's basically going to use it, or it's on a different email, I have to create another join command uh, profile which is going to intercept that join text push. Now this is a universal profile which means any commands can be entered in here and then I can just simply use if condition for every single command type. In this case the aacom1 is going to be equals to clip and then I can just process that information. And what I want to do is first just to disable the profile which is going to share the clipboard when the clipboard is set uh, wait two seconds, set the clipboard, wait two seconds again, and enable that program from a, pro a profile uh, which is highlighted here. And that's pretty much it. That way you should be able to get away uh, with the fact that you're setting a clipboard and not to forward this clipboard back to the same device. As you can see, with this simple task fix, you can actually share automatically your clipboard between different adjoining accounts. Now, if you watch my videos, you probably know I do not have a posting schedule. So if you want to get notified about an article or a video I've just posted, consider subscribing uh, to the channel or using the media following to get the notifications. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.